There are a number of types of bid automation in Google Ads, including some built directly into Google's platform. Others are built by third parties, and some are homebrewed by marketers to fit their own needs. However, odds are that none of these solutions were built with the current COVID-19 pandemic in mind, or the changes in shopper behavior that are coming along with it. Things are not normal right now. As such, you may need to take matters into your own hands to avoid letting a confused robot turn things from bad to worse. Here are some symptoms to watch for in your campaigns. First, insufficient or no response. There are some auto-bidding approaches that make perfect sense when the world is behaving normally that just don't translate to today's situation. For example, if your bidder was using a very long date range, then the past couple of weeks may not have moved your metrics much at all. If a conversion rate dips, but costs do not, this can rack up considerable wasted spend before you even notice. The second potential symptom is the rain shadow. Even with a bidder that is responding, most rely on some kind of moving average, such as a rolling four week period or a dynamic date range that ends up running into the same kind of problems. This will respond to the recent changes in behavior, but it may not do so quickly enough. If it's using an average over a period of time that's just not consistent, that average doesn't paint the whole picture if the first half of your date range is normal and the second half is very, very weak. The average will eventually catch up as your date range cycles the normal days off the back end, but once again, a lot of wasted spend can accumulate before that happens. The third symptom is the fishtail. If your bidder is using a model that wasn't prepared for your current campaign behavior, or if it's using too short a date range, so that the bid decisions are being made on less and less significant samples of data, you may find that a model that worked well before is suffering from overfitting now. That can present as erratic swings, overcorrections, or generally inconsistent behavior. Each of these patterns requires a different solution, even if you're taking things into your own hands. And some campaign types don't even allow that. Smart shopping doesn't have a manual bid option, for example. However, where you can manually bid to guide your campaigns out of this mess, you should simplify your bidding structure. Maybe that means a simpler, smaller product tree in your shopping campaign. Maybe that's reducing the number of individual keyword bids that you're using in favor of broader ad group level bids. Essentially, reduce the number of bid decisions your campaigns require by grouping similar behavior. Not only will this make your account a bit easier to manage so that you can respond more quickly to future changes in behavior, but it also allows you to use shorter date ranges yourself. Bidding is always a balance between the need for granular control and the need for statistical significance. Right now, if your campaigns are exhibiting these symptoms, you may need to trade some of that granular control to preserve your statistical significance as you may not be able to rely on longer term data the way that you're used to. Finally, if you're overwhelmed with trying to figure out how to work remotely or scared or distracted and could use an extra pair of eyes on your Google Ads account, reach out directly to me at roy at statbid.com and I'll be happy to help if I can. No sales pitch, just some feedback and advice for those that could use it.